Welcome to the University of Albany School of Education's 2020 Awards and Scholarship Ceremony. Today, we are proud to honor some of our outstanding students, faculty, and staff for their achievements. I am Dr. Jason Lane, and I have the great privilege of serving as the Dean of the School of Education. The school was founded in 1844 as New York's first public teacher's college. For more than 175 years, we've been at the forefront of educating the next generation of teachers, leaders, policymakers, researchers, and mental health practitioners. And you don't have to take my word for it. U.S. News continues to rank us as the top public school of education in New York and number two in the Northeast. And UConn, we're coming for you. And our online graduate programs are consistently rated as the top 10 in the country. We all know that today is unprecedented as the world wrestles with this pandemic, and we will overcome it. Being nearly two centuries old, I know, though not firsthand, that the students and faculty of this great institution persevered through a civil war, two world wars, another pandemic nearly 100 years ago, and so much more. We will do so again, and we will thrive. I do want to take the time at this moment, though, to acknowledge the losses that so many have endured and experienced since this all began. From the loss of loved ones to the memories of a final semester that were not realized, many have been affected, and our hearts and thoughts are with you and yours. I have been incredibly proud as our community has come together to support each other through these times and to support those around us. Our researchers are examining the effects of the pandemic on learning and mental health. Our students continue to be frontline in working with teachers and counselors and parents to support students and clients. Our faculty, our staff, and our students work quickly to set up a new website, www.remoteed.org, with resources for parents and teachers to navigate this new environment. And our 3D printer was loaned to the College of Emergency Preparedness to help make masks for frontline workers. But despite the pandemic, the School of Education has continued to move forward in new and exciting ways, and some of those we have the opportunity to celebrate today. Four years ago, we returned to our undergraduate roots, launching a human development major. This year is not the first set of graduates from this program, but it is the first set of graduates who are part of this major since their freshman year. And we applaud them and their accomplishments. This year, we launched the Tui Family Fellows Program. This program, established by its generous support from Charlie Tui and Alice Green, supports a cohort of undergraduate students from diverse backgrounds to pursue degrees in education and mental health. Today, we celebrate the first cohort of students were guided by five graduate mentors and many faculty and staff, including program director, Dr. Tammy Ellis Robinson. Today, we also recognize the members of the Dean's Student Leadership Council for their commitment and leadership in creating a strong academic community for all of our 1,500 students. In fact, with their guidance, I'm proud to announce the creation of the School of Education's Dean's Excellence Awards. These awards recognize the outstanding contributions of both an undergraduate and graduate student in four areas, research, leadership and service, teaching and mentoring, social justice and advocacy. These awards are in addition to the nearly 100 scholarships available to students at the School of Education, which were made possible through the generous investment of our alumni and friends. Today, I'm excited to share that we have five new scholarships to award. The Carol Ann Jamal Gibson Education Scholarship was established by Greg Gibson in memory of his wife, a teacher for 30 years to support the studies of a future teacher. The Class of 1964 scholarship was made possible by the contributions of the Class of 1964 as part of their 55th reunion to support a student pursuing a career in education who also demonstrates leadership abilities, engagement, and involvement. The Nancy Willie Schiff Education and Policy Leadership Scholarship supports a graduate student studying educational policy and leadership. Nancy serves on the Dean's Leadership Council and represents the great commitment of this group to, to build support for our students. And this year, we also have a special gift from our own Dean Emeritus, Robert Banger Drowns, and his wife, Diana. They created the Banger Drowns Endowment for Diversity in Teaching and Educational Leadership to support an African-American student pursuing a career in P-12 teaching. This gift extends Dean Banger Drowns deep commitment, leadership, and legacy in the area of educational equity. Finally, the John Murray and Anne Marie Murray Community College Leadership Scholarship supports a graduate student pursuing a career in a community college. I would acknowledge their lifetime commitment to higher education. Anne Marie in particular was a former president of the Herkimer Community College and has been instrumental in the creation of our Community College Leadership Certificate. She's also a quadruple alum of the School of Education, and this year she is receiving 
the Part-Time Teaching Excellence Award from the Department of Educational Policy and Leadership. This month she marks her retirement from UAL as UAlbany's Vice Provost for Program Development and Strategic Initiatives. We will certainly miss her in this role, but we know that our students will continue to benefit from her in the classroom. And while we are on retirements, I want to recognize Dr. Donna Scanlon, a full professor in the Department of Literacy, Teaching, and Learning, who is stepping away this year after two decades with the school, including serving as the Director of the Child Research and Study Center. A nationally recognized scholar and educator, we will deeply miss her contributions. We are fortunate for the generosity and commitment of so many of our alums and friends who make these and the many other awards you are about to see possible. On behalf of the School of Education, my thanks to all of you for your investment in the next generation of educators, leaders, policymakers, researchers, mental health practitioners, and most importantly, to all of our awardees. Congratulations for all that you have accomplished and will continue to accomplish. Go Great Danes. Welcome family and friends to this virtual award ceremony. As chair of the Department of Education Policy and Leadership, I appreciate and thank you for joining our students and our faculty as we celebrate their professional and academic accomplishments. These accomplishments reflect hard work and dedication to in classrooms, in our communities, to the betterment of the lives for all. They are examples of how EPL is having an impact in communities and with children, both locally and worldwide. Again, I thank you for joining us. I look forward to seeing you in the future, in person, where we can talk and share our stories. Um, meanwhile, stay healthy and sane while you stay safe.